Hey, Air Signs, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your weekend love read for May 4th and 5th, 2019. This will be for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Let's see what you guys got going on. First card out, King of Cups, feeling happy and love. Um, for some of you, you're having a hard time... Uh, Expressing how you're feeling towards somebody. Your next card out is the Prince of Pentacles. Oops, wait for me. And your next card out is the Three of Wands. So, at a distance from somebody who you consider your blessing, who you really do love, but you're moving slow, wanting to make this relationship work, wanting to do it the right way. Moving it very slow. The person you are dealing with has the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I thought a card flipped in there. Whoa. All right. Their next card out is the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Your guys' situation... is the High Priestess in the Upright. The Five of Cups in the Reverse. And the Six of Swords. Your guys' is bottom of the deck and shared energy. Whoa, are you dealing with the fire sign? They had this in their shared energy. The Judgment in Reverse. Clarified by the Princess of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. All right. I'm going to tip you down here. Hopefully you can see that okay. There we go. Okay. All right, air signs, your, your uh, shared energy, um, you're, either you're wanting a second chance with this person or they are, but somebody is not um, seeing the, the uh, elephant in the room. Somebody's not getting the signs. Somebody's not seeing what they're meant to. They're missing that aha moment. Um, and somebody uh, is not sure if they want to give this relationship a second chance because there was too much energy that was shared among outside the relationship. That does not necessarily mean a third party. Um, I'm seeing more of a job. A job was taking up somebody's time. Um, there was just other investments besides the two of you. Um, but I don't see it as a third party. So, um, not if there are, if it is a third party, it's very few of you. So, um, but this is just not uh, committing enough time to the relationship, not investing enough in each other. Um, you could be, you could have found out some news. Okay, now I am seeing a third party. So it can be either way. You could, you could have a third party, but not necessarily. Um, the majority of you, the the sharing of energy was not with a third party. But for some of you, it is because I am seeing it now because you're getting some information. You're finding something out. Um, about somebody sharing their energy or you're being found out, air signs, um, however it fits. But somebody's not sure if they want to give this relationship a second chance um, or to keep going in this relationship because of that shared energy, um, whether it be with another person or something else. So let me get some clarifiers here. All right. So like I said, um, you have a lot of love for this person, but you're having a hard time expressing it. Uh, let's see why the King of Cups is here for you, Air Science. Key Five of Swords. Yeah. You're, you're walking away from a situation where you do love somebody a lot. Um, this could have been because, or this could have been, either you're walking away from somebody or somebody's walking away from you, even though you love them um, unconditionally. There's a lot of love here. Um, I do see it for the majority of you air signs. Um, you could have had somebody walk away from you. 
um, and you're trying to move forward. You're trying to uh, put one foot in front of the other, trying to get your finances in order, trying to, you're really doing some deep reflection, going within, seeing what it is that you really want from here on out. Um, yeah, you're in the time of healing right now. So you're going to have a pause here coming up um, either soon. Some of you could be going through this already, but you're just taking a step back. You're going slow. You're not wanting to move anything too fast. Some of you could have met somebody new after somebody walked out of your life or you walked out of theirs. Um, but you're just really taking this time to look at everything, to look within yourself and moving slowly forward, giving yourself time to heal. Um, because you know that there's blessings out there for you. You know that your ships are going to come in. You know that you're going to be able to manifest um, a new situation into your life no matter what. But you're just really taking some time. Um, taking some time to get over some hurt of the past. Because this isn't easy to get over. This is some very harsh words. Some arguments. Some, you know, a situation where no matter what you felt like you couldn't win. Um, you are damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of energy. Why is the three of wands here for air signs? Um, for some of you, you have a fire sign coming in for you, um, but you have to heal from this broken heart first. You have to heal from this, this pain that uh, you have experienced from this past relationship. Um, for some of you, you could be at a distance from somebody and it just breaks your heart. Um, I am seeing also for some of you, uh, you heard about somebody who passed away from a distance, um, and it's really making you sad. Uh, this, this would have happened either earlier today or within the last three days. It's not a prediction. It's already happened either from today or the past three days. And it, and it's really emotionally, um, getting to you. And that is somebody at a distance, but that's for very few of you. For the majority of you, you're just healing, taking some time to heal from this heartache from somebody who walked away from you in the past. The person that you are dealing with decided they didn't want to put into this relationship. Um, they weren't, uh, they aren't wanting to nurture. Yeah, this is a third party. This, this, uh, this just totally flipped on me. So, um, yeah, they're just no longer wanting to, uh, put into this relationship because of the imbalance of energy. They need to find their own grounds. They need to find their own balance. Um, so they just weren't really, uh, uh, putting any investment or any time or any effort into the home situation. Um, for those of you not in a third party, they aren't putting, they aren't nurturing the home life because they're busy, uh, putting their time in at work. Um, I am still seeing that situation. They're just trying to make money they're trying to make ends meet. They're trying to keep everything up in the air without dropping anything. They're really juggling their time and their finances. It's like they're living, you know, um, try, just trying to make ends meet. For uh, for those of you in the third party situation, uh, this person isn't nurturing any relationship because they don't know who to invest in. They're out of balance. They're not sure where they want to balance their energy with. So they're continuing to juggle uh, this situation. Whoa. Why is the two pinnacles here? Yeah, I'm seeing both situations very clearly, but either way you're feeling broken because they're not home. So they're either at work or all the time, or for the group of you that's in a third party, they could be with a third party right now, but this group of you, they're at work all the time. They are working hard. They're juggling. They're trying to, trying to keep ends or they're trying to make ends meet. Um, but, but it is going to get better. It is because all the work that they're putting in spirit sees that and it will, um, they will be able to find that balance for those of you in a third party situation. Um, they're working hard to get out of a situation where they don't have to balance their energy anymore. Um, they have put in a lot of stress and um, sleepless nights in over all of this. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Yeah, the Ace of Swords. So they're just not seeing it. Like I said, once again, they're not getting the aha moment. The Ace of Swords is the truth from the divine. They're just not seeing it. They're too busy worrying about their finances. They're too busy working to see what's important. 
to see what the universe is trying to show them, to see that it's time to wake up and see what's important in life. Money is fine, <clears throat> but, you know, there's going to come a time where by the time they're done making all their money, that they're not going to have anything left. Everybody's going to have walked away from them. Um, for those of you in a third party situation, they're refusing to see the divine truth just yet because they are trying to get their finances in order in order to leave the person that they're currently with. So this second chance cannot happen right now. They have to find balance in their finances first. They, I mean, it came out twice. So there is a definite need for them to get their finances in order. There's a definite need for them to balance out their energy. Um, they have the six of pentacles twice and the two of pentacles, most definitely juggling around um, energy, whether it be a third party person or a third party or a third party situation like a job. Why is the high priestess here? And the five of cups and the eight of six of swords. All right. So, <clears throat> in your guys' situation, um, there's a lot of secrets here. There, um, they could have, they could be very in and out of your life right now, air signs. They could be back and forth, hot and cold, not knowing what they want, coming in very quickly, just wanting sex. Um, wanting to see you and then running back to their other life. Um, but there's a lot of secrets here. Um, I do see you cutting off this person, no longer letting this flighty energy come in and out. Yes, it breaks your heart, but you got to heal from this and you realize that. So you are, um, using your intuition and putting a stop to the, uh, to the third party situation. Um, you are going to be able to get over this heartache. You are going to be able to move past this. Um, but it's once <clears throat> it's going to take you moving on or moving forward, setting out on your own spiritual journey, setting out on your own spiritual path. Um, and that will help that heartache uh, heal a little bit. But right now you're just kind of feeling the pain of this because this person is at a distance from you. All right. And your last card is the six of swords, allowing your intuition to move you forward, to guide you out of the situation, to get you out of this place. That's just giving you all this extra baggage. Um, you're refusing to be a secret anymore. You are no longer allowing yourself to be in that position. Uh, so you are allowing your intuition, your guide to get you out of the situation that you need to be in. But, um, these two, this is just, Ignoring the signs from the divine, ignoring the truth. The universe is trying to step in and give that aha moment, but they're not seeing it yet. Let's see what the outcome of the weekend is. What's air science outcome for the weekend? The sun. What a beautiful card. The eight of cups in reverse. And the four of pentacles in reverse. Why is the sun here? So once again, the sun is about being led, led by the universe. Um, putting yourself in the path that you are meant to. Um, putting yourself in the path that you're meant to be on. Uh, by following your intuition. By following your um, intuition. This is also illuminating some things that have been done in the dark. Um, but this is also. This could be about. Uh have something to do with a Leo, but this is just having the confidence, having the courage, having the strength to move forward and follow that path to follow and do what it is that you want to do. Not letting anybody hold you back. Um, so have the confidence, have the courage to, um, follow that path that you're guided to take because it is, it is trying to show you, um, which direction to move in. Also, it's going to be illuminating some things for you this weekend. The eight of cups is here in reverse. So this is just an emotionally draining situation. When you decide which direction your path is, and it could still be with this person. I'm not saying it's not. What I'm saying is that if this person is meant for you, you will meet back up on this path. Um, but it's going to bring you in 
when you do that, it's going to bring you in a new spark, a new opportunity to make this relationship work. But um, right now, it's just not time. There has to be some healing. The universe can't put this person back in your path until you have healed from this broken heart. Why is a four of pentacles here? Thank you. All right. And you're no... Um, you're letting your guard down to express your feelings, to let somebody know how much, you know, you care about them, how much they mean to you. Um, just be cautious because they could be very manipulating in how they act towards the situation. Like if they want you to wait for them, they could be very uh, like playing with your mind. They could be gaslighting you. So um, just be cautious about investing in that conversation by letting your guard completely down. Um, because right now you're needing some healing. You're needing this pause. You're needing this delay because this um, has to have some healing before this can happen. So that's why you guys are in this delay from this person right now. I hope that wasn't too confusing. I hate when I tell two storylines at the same time, but I felt that one needed to be told both of them. All right, your guys' uh, card that came out for the weekend is to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. The bottom of your deck is soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So in order for this person to come back, in order for this relationship to work, um, the first lesson in the journey is to love yourself first. You have to love yourself before your soulmate can come in because you can't love somebody fully and truly if you can't love yourself first. So work on that healing, work on putting you first and your blessings are going to come in. Your ships will come in, but this has to happen first in order for your soulmate to come back. So, all right, air signs. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. My journey and my path would not be the same without you. So I want to thank you Thank you, thank you so very much, and I send you all love, light, and God bless.